Warning, this video contains highly hilarious and offensive materials not meant to offend any parties mentioned. Viewer discretion is advised for hilariousness. All right, babies, how y'all doing, Sigas Nation? This is your fearless leader, Big Titty Siggy. Oh, that's my new name, Big Titty Siggy. Hello, everybody. Let's go ahead and party like a niggy. Drop, 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 and hot, hot. I'm so stupid. Anyways, what's up, y'all? This is my truth series that where I like to say what I feel about situations on the cuff with my hilariousness spin on it. But I can't be too hilarious during this video because a lot of religious people is going to get upset with me. There's going to be a mass dislike. There's going to be a lot of arguments in the comments. A lot of white people is going to tell me, I like you better when you didn't. <laughs> Just how y'all talk, I'm sorry. I liked you better when you were just doing nigger rants in front of restaurants. Ever since you had a mind of your own and you started thinking, your channel just went down. <laughs> this is why I do not believe, let me take a sip of water because my mouth is drier than Kim Kardashian's vagina for Ray J. This is why I do not believe in Bibles. I'm not going to say all of the Bible, I'm going to say 90 fucking percent. I don't believe in 90% of the Bible, and I don't believe in religions. Now, if you follow a religion, if you are part of a religion, good for you. I'm glad that you found your savior. I'm glad you found your salvation. I ain't mad at you. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is what I'm here to say. I believe in God. I believe in Jesus. I believe in angels. I believe in heaven. This is what I do not believe in. Demons. I believe humans are the demons. I do not believe in the devil. I believe humans are the devil. Do you understand that? I believe that the darkness of the world, the darkness that is sowed and reaped into our ground, into our ground, because if you commit dark acts, those dark acts will be on your soul forever. I believe that those dark acts is what's sowed into the ground after you die and creates more darkness, more hell on earth. And that's your demons and that's your Satan. I don't believe in the hell in the ground. I do not believe God will send his children to a hell under the ground. I do not believe that God punishes his children like the Bible has depicted. God has punished his children before, turning them into salt, turning them into pepper, turning them into salt and pepper. I'm just being honest. I'm sorry for joking. This is now why I don't believe in those things. Now, let me tell you why. I told you why I don't believe in those things. I told you why I believe in... Let me tell you why now. I have grown up with a Christian grandmother, a Christian mother, a Christian family, a Christian world mostly. I'm saying that we cannot tell if the Bible is true in 2017 because the people that created the Bible isn't God himself personally now I know all it oh oh my god I follow God and I'm so religious I understand I understand why you're religious I understand that you want to follow the Bible because that was brought down for generations and generations and generations I understand I understand however the people that wrote the Bible back then that were all those thousands of years ago, how can you trust those people? See, people, preachers and, and other uh, scholars or whatever for Christianity or, or um, Catholic faith, they say that the Bibles or Korans or whatever was made from people with inspiration from God. They got inspiration from God to write the Bible, to, to correct these stories inspiration there are people in 2017 that say they get inspiration from God to mow down a church full of nuns people today say they get inspiration from God to commit murders to commit molestation to commit rape and that's what that's what you're going off of you're gonna go, you're gonna put your whole life in a book from people from 2,000 years ago you never met don't know don't know if they even really existed and you're gonna take that as the actual factual proof from God I'm sorry I know offense to you but it's a I'm about to be a controversial as hell today it's a lot of me man 
And I know I sound crazy. I know you guys are going to say, you, uh, I'm going to unsubscribe. You, you a Satan father. That's what the people like to say. If you don't follow what they follow, if you don't do what they say to do, you a Satan follower. But I believe that what I follow is more in tune with God than what you follow. Oh my God. Why am I saying this controversial shit on this main channel? This ain't going to look good for me in the future. This ain't going to look good for me in the future. Uh, this is just what I follow. This is my faith here. I live my life spiritually connected with God. I call him the Holy Command and the Sovereign Skies. I'm spiritually connected to God. I meditate, pray. That's what I call prayer, meditation. I meditate to God and I believe God gives me his answers through signs, through visions. It sounds crazy. It sounds outlandish. I know. I believe that our Bibles is inner. It's inside of us. It's our feelings. I believe that God tells us individually. It doesn't have to be one book for every person. There's different people in the world. Billions of us. I believe my God, your God, whatever God you choose to believe in does not wish for his children to follow a book. I believe that he wishes for the children to get their own inspiration from him personally, fit for them to run and to move forward in their own lives. Do you understand what I'm saying? God implants into you at birth not to kill, not to murder, not to rape, not to be evil. People that is getting connected to the dark side of life because God gave us all free will they get connected to the dark side of life. And if you get connected to the dark side of life, you see a lot of rape, you see a lot of murder, you see a lot of sadness. It's much more easier for you to be accepted into that type of lifestyle. Do you understand me? I don't believe that a Bible is going to tell you how to run your life and how to live your life in 2017. The Bible ain't never had AOL. The Bible ain't never had Google. The Bible ain't never had Yahoo. It's technically advanced. If you want to do anything, you're going to have to update the Bible. I don't know why people want to use uh, scripts and, and, and lectures and, and poems and all these doctrines and all these constitutions and all these bill of rights or whatever the hell you call the shit from thousands of years ago. This is 2017. Do you use a computer from the year 1995? Do you use a cell phone from uh, Do you use a cell phone from the year 2000? So if you don't use outdated cell phone, you don't use outdated computer software. Why are you using outdated software to run your life? Why hasn't people been inspired from God in 2017? Let me tell you something. They have. You're looking at them, bitch ass niggas. Niggas is booing their computer screen or their cell phone screen right now. They're throwing fruit at their computer screen and their cell phone right now. I am the prophet of light, I believe. I'm telling you guys all types of crazy shit today. You all gonna say, I'm never watching this nigga video. <laughs> I'm never watching this nigga videos again. That's what y'all gonna tell yourselves. I believe I'm the prophet of light. I believe I've gotten inspiration from God. And, he, and the inspiration I've gotten from God is telling you all this shit I'm telling you right now. There is no such thing as a Bible or religion. We are all one religion. There is all one God in the universe above. There is no such thing as demons. There is no such thing as Satan. There is no such thing as hell. I know y'all are upset. Y'all sad. Y'all mad. Y'all gonna say to me, well... If there's no Satan, if there's no hell, how can you be punished for your sins? There's no such thing as sins. I don't know what you're saying. Well, if there's no sins, there's no Satan, there's no hell, I could just do whatever I want. That's not how God would live or let life be. I could just do whatever I want and go unpunished. You will be punished after you die and go to the universe above, which you guys refer to as heaven, and you meet the high commander in the sovereign skies and he shows and details to you what you should have done living your life of light but instead you lived your life of darkness you killed you murdered you raped instead of loving others being kind to others giving joy to others and because of those actions your punishment will be the acknowledgement that you could have been a better species to mankind 
but instead you decided to be a part of darkness and evil. And you will have to live with that for all of eternity. That sounds a lot worse than that fake ass hell to me. You see, I believe that God has given me the true Bible. And the true Bible is our inner Bible. I believe there's only two paths in life. A path of light and a path of darkness. And whatever side you choose to align with is the side that's going to grow more in life. Consume you more in life. Sometimes you will fight for the light and you fight for the light so much that the darkness finds you. And sometimes you fight for the darkness so much that the light finds you. Everyone has different paths and different destinies in life. As all of you are in the comments below arguing and telling me I'm wrong for these thoughts and I'm wrong because the Bible said, again, if we were in a room of 200 people and we told one person a secret, will that secret stay the same as it goes around the 200 people? Or will that secret be different? Just a little bit. You'll add something. You'll take something away. So if a group of 200 will do that, tell me why men thousands of years ago wouldn't do that. Tell me why manuscripts and doctrine from thousands of years ago won't be, mis, uh, won't be misused for evil practices to make people follow things that they shouldn't truly follow. Thinking that God gives a shit if you eat pork or cows. Thinking that God is sitting in heaven punishing his children for every little miss misconduct they commit to. Thinking God is, is sitting on a throne, turning people into salt and turning people into pepper. That's not what I follow. That's not my God. That's a God of evilness. I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry for saying that, but that's what I believe. It's a God of vengeance and that's not my God. I follow the God of love. I follow the God of kindness. I follow the God of light. And a God that get upset like he's your baby mama, is not a God of light to me, it's a God of darkness to me. I know what I'm saying is so controversial, I know what I'm saying. You don't agree, I know what I'm saying. You're gonna up, be upset with me, you're gonna argue with me, but sit down and think about it. Stop listening to what your mother, your father, the preachers from yesteryear told you, and listen to what God tells you. When you pray, when you meditate tonight, 2,000 year old doctrines, 2,000 year old manuscripts, 2,000 year old poems about God. You think they're going to know? You think that's the truth? That it won't be used for evil practices today? That it won't be misread? That it will be misrepresented? I'm telling you, don't seek the word from others. I'm telling you to seek the word from God himself. And that's what I did as I went through sadness and depression, and I'm still going through that, my friends. I seek God himself. I don't seek his word from another man's word. I seek his word from God himself. And the Bible that is inside of me can be different to all of you if you seek your own connection with God instead of letting other things connect you to God. They want you to follow a Bible. They want you to follow a book. You want to think that a book is your answers. Your answers is in here. That's where your answers is. That's what I'm telling you. That's what I follow. I'm a spiritualist. I'm not in a religion. I'm a prophet of light. I'm higher than a religion. I'm higher than a Bible. I get my Bible from God himself. You want to live on the light of God? You want to do the goodness and graciousness of God? Help others, love others, be kind to others. You're spreading more light. You want to be of a darkness and commit to more darkness and more darkness will grow on this world like you're seeing today, a.k.a. the Las Vegas shooting, a.k.a. more and more murders and killings and rapes. You will commit to lies. You will commit to using others. You will commit to hurting others. You will commit to dark acts. That's my truth. And it felt damn good telling you all on this main channel. No matter how many of you unsubscribe, which you will, no matter how many of you disagree, which many of you will, I can't ask you to tell your religion that you've been following your entire life not to follow it anymore. But I am telling you, I stopped following mine at age 22 years old because I started growing and getting a bigger and, and, and higher connection to God myself through meditation and prayer. And he gave me signs 
every time. Not a day goes by, not a second goes by that I pray that I don't get a sign, a vision. You just have to get better at interpreting those signs and those visions when they come for you. My practices, it's not easy to be done. My practices, sometimes I think it's wrong, but in my heart, I believe they are right because they are full of light. What I follow, I'm not telling nobody to rape people, murder people, hurt people, use people. I'm telling people what I follow is some God that I believe is the universal God, that all he cares for truly is love, kindness, inspiration, helping others, being kind to others, doing right, doing goodness to others. And when you do that and you create that and you keep creating that more and more, you will be building light in a dark world that we live in. And that's why this world is getting more and more in darkness. That's why this world is getting more and more into pain. Because no one's willing to fight for that light. That's what God told me through signs and visions. Not through a book that someone else wrote 2,000 years ago that I never met that could be lying. What would make more sense to you? The Bible that is inside of you or the Bible that someone else wrote? What would make more sense to you? Be honest with yourselves, all of you. I know you're religious. I know you follow your Bibles. I know nothing I can say can make you not follow a Bible or your religion. But listen to me, please. What makes more sense? That God would tell people to write in a book for you 2,000 years ago what to do, or that God will install that into your soul and into your heart. What makes more sense? What will make you follow the rules of life more steadily? The first option will make you follow the rules of life. The first option will make you get in line. The first option will make you do whatever that book tells you to do that those authors wrote in it 2,000 years ago that may or may not have spoken to God that may or may not have been inspired by God. Why are you seeking others' inspiration? Why can't you seek your own inspiration from God? Because God ain't gonna tell you to kill nobody. I don't give a fuck if you believe it's God all night and every day. God ain't gonna tell you to kill. He ain't gonna tell you to rape. And he ain't gonna tell you to murder. He ain't gonna tell you to do abuse. So you tell me, what makes more sense to you? A God of vengeance that turn people into salt and pepper? Or a God of love and kindness. I know all of you are going to be very upset with me for this video. I'm sorry. You said you wanted the truth. I asked if you can handle the truth. I asked you. You said you can handle the truth. That's what you tell me. So we're going to see with all the likes and dislikes. You're going to see. You're going to be very upset with me. You're going to be very upset with me. But I, I believe in my soul. That is the true Bible. Our inner Bible. I believe in my soul. That's the true way to follow Christ. God. I really do. I could be wrong, but I don't believe I am. It's when I'm fearful that I am wrong that I mess up. It's when I'm fearful that when I argue with myself, that's when I mess up. Not when I believe it's true, but when I'm asking myself questions or, or, or nervous or have panic attacks. I'm, I'm, I'm not thinking about the inner Bible. I'm not thinking about the strength of God. Then I'm thinking about not shitting my pants because I'm nervous. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope that you leave me a comment. We can have a little debate, but I'm not arguing with you about this. This is what I believe. And if you believe what you believe, you can believe what you believe, but everything I said made perfect sense. Does it or does it not? And this is not what I got from a book. This is not what I got from a Google search. This is what I got from signs and visions from God. Feelings here and here. And it all makes perfect sense. I know it's going to be hard for you to, to, to leave your religions and join the Sigology religion. It's not really a religion, but I just call what I follow Sigology. Now I know you're going to say, oh, it's all about you. It's all about your own narcissism. It's all about you. No, it's just because it sounds cool. Sigology, it just sounds cool. Like, I'll just call my own shit that, you know what I'm saying? But really what I am is a spiritualist, but not what you call a spiritualist. I have my own definitions of these things not what you define these things as so thank you for watching again peace